Okay, it's Peter Clark on Real Ale Craft Beer, and boy, do I need a beer today. Beer today is Lucky Buddha Lager, or Lucky Buddha Beer, in a green bottle. There's the Lucky sign on the neck. There's the bottle cap. This beer is from China. There you go. And really, I'm a bit of a magpie. I seen this in the Magic Beer Shop in Cardiff, as some might call it. And I thought I'm going to pick this up. 4.8% ABV. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Okay. Bit of smoke there. The shape of the bottle, it, it's a funny one, it, it's really kind of handy, it really fits in your hand like a glove, it, it's very strangely sturdy. I think it's all the kind of embossment that's going on, you can kind of get your fingers in different layers of that Buddha's fat. <laughs> right, there we are. Okay, beer in the glass, looks like a lager, bit of carbonation. Golden in colour, very clear beer. One finger white head. Let's get my nose into this mazy looking beer then. And as always with these beers, you expect skunk from a green glass, a green bottle, should I say. It's not huge, it's just a pinch at the moment of a subtle kind of pinch of skunkiness. So, fair play to him. It's not too bad. Other than that, it smells like a kind of ricey, grainy lager. But I'm so thirsty today that it doesn't matter. Cheers. Ooh. Okay, it, it's not really skunky, but it, it's kind of a, it is, of course, it's a premium lager, it's, very refreshing, I'll say that for it, it is a very refreshing brew. But it's that clinical rice taste that you get from these beers. And the reason why they brew with rice is because it's so stable. It's, it's along the line. It's just... There's a, a, a huge kind of... I'll change the word in. The beer is not likely to go wrong. You can brew a rice, it tastes the same, it's easy to brew with, but there's just not much taste. It's like boiled rice, there's no real taste in boiled rice, is there? So don't expect it from beer. Carbonated premium lager. Which, for a premium lager, if I wanted to go out and if I was in this frame of mind that I'm in now, that I just want something to refresh me, then it's doing a very good job. If I'm looking for something flavoursome and, and wholehearted and wheaty and oaty and malty and hoppy, then this is not your drink. For a lager, lager rating, I'll give it a lager rating. For a, for a lager, I mean I'm putting it against all of the Carlins, the Carlsbergs, the Stellas, that type of beer, that's what it's aimed at, that's what it wants to be. Out of all of that type of style of beer, I'd give this a 7. 
But if you ask me to kind of just give it a general kind of beer review, I'm going to give this a 4. 4 out of 10. If you're going to put it up against kind of beer in general, it's just not that good. 4.8% ABV. I don't believe there's a website. No, no website. Um, there we are. One last look at Mr. Buddha there before I sling the bottle in the recycling. Put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.